on Taylor Dane, who in a daytime exclusive is sharing her battle with colon cancer after her diagnosis shocked all of her fans last July. You know, it, you talk about being a warrior for yourself and an advocate. We've done shows on caregivers. We've done shows on medical gaslighting where women aren't believed and aren't heard. You've seen every level of this. And now here you are, the survivor, and you are ready to go back on tour and at the <laughs> same time do interviews and tell this story. I mean, booked and busy much? <laughs> I was on a pick line. Oh. While I did shows. I just, there, it became an emotional, a mental kind of game for me where yeah. I said, either I give up or I get up. Mm. And I have to tell you, <laughs> it, my managers were, don't, what are you doing? We, we, we're gonna cancel these shows. We're gonna cancel this. I said, let me see what I can do. You walk me to the stage. I will sit there if I, as much as I can give. It's a muscle. Let me just try. Let me try because healing, healing from my audience to my audience to me, the, the, the reciprocity. Yeah. I know what this feels like. Yeah. I've learned. I've, the work I've done has taught me the last 10 years of how to take in the love as much as give the love. Yeah. So it was so important getting out there. And so, yeah, I just tucked that little IV in. Yeah. Nobody knew. Some people did. As my little tiny, my, my body shrunk and shrunk as you're fighting this yeah. infection. It was, but I'm- But you're so strong. I mean, you're just radiating. And meanwhile, yeah. our audience is yelling out, tell it to my heart, because <laughs> I just said to you in the commercial break, it must be mind blowing. You go anywhere in the world. I don't care what language is spoken. That song comes on. People just break out and they don't even know the words. They're like, yes, <laughs> I mean, how does that I've seen feel? Bahamas, you know. All around the world. It it overwhelms me and I, you know, you don't take it in as it's yours. It's a gift. It's yeah. it's part of my my world and it's my name and it's my my likeness, so to speak, but it's just a gift. It was one of the greatest gifts I've ever had in my oh life. Oh my gosh. But so is this. And that so, so is, is this. this, you know, so is this. So is this is, is your, a turning point. Honey. It is, and I love that you're using your platform and your voice to really remind people about not just checking on our bodies, but checking on our hearts and our minds and our soul. Because that's an emotional a, journey. It's not, an emotional journey. I said to people, "Let me get through the physical." I didn't. I have twins. They're twenty. I did not tell them. Yeah, you I, didn't tell not them. Not at not at first. I, I, they would not have. It's interesting. This well. There they are. Sorry, and Levi. That's Levi and my my. They're Astria twins. Astria and Levi. They're twenty year old twins. So I'm always curious about that decision because it is a tough one as a mom. You're their rock, and now you have to show them that rocks can crack. So again, this is gonna, this is gonna, this is gonna hurt guys because what you have to understand is. You have to go within yourself yeah. and make a decision. At one point after 20 days in the hospital, I made a decision. I said, mm. if I don't lift myself out of here, they are more than happy about me just staying here and going through the system. Mm. I got myself up. I did not tell my daughter. My daughter found out. My son knew. My mm. son is far in a different mental and emotional yeah. place than her. And he came and he was a warrior for me. Oh. I was back and forth to ER. I can't tell you how many times. Yeah. My daughter is my love now in my heart because yeah. she can spend the time with me because we're doing so much recovery work, mental so and emotional work. So they play different work. roles, they right? They sure do. Yeah, they The play. masculine and the feminine and <laughs> her heart is with me now and she holds my hand so oh. gingerly. But my son was next to me in a hospital bed for nine hours at Clips. Wow. Because he could take it. See? He's like, I'll be right back, Ma. I'm like, <laughs> come back and tell me what the snacks are. <laughs> and I'm like laying there like, <laughs> my white blood's at like 23 and he's like, they suck, mom. This is ridiculous. Like, I don't understand this. I'm going to get, and I, you'll handle this in you know, I love more it. years. Yeah. See, even the universe knew you needed twins because one day they would play different roles on this they journey do now. for you. They do. They are adorable. I got to say, with all the things that you've accomplished, I love that you are still out there, this tour, working on new music. You must. Um, you're like, purpose you always is say, purpose. Purpose. This is your purpose. And you're yes, setting out, looking at, you're yes. looking at the map and saying, where is Taylor Dane going to go now and perform? Turks and Caicos! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Honey, I'm going listen, to <laughs> if you need a backup singer, I am available. My whole team, we will <laughs> sing back up for Taylor Dane. Hell yeah. Oh, so I yeah, asked I you in the break, I said, how many cities? You said, I don't know. As many as possible. As you're many just as hitting possible. it hard. Wow. 
I'm, you know what? I think I'm, I'm 50 cities now, but I mean, I'll start ne next week. I mean, we're slowing down for the new year, but I'll be doing Winterfest, which I'm really excited about. Yeah. And for, at the Hard Rock, I'll be at the Hard Rock next week. And so, yeah, it's just, I love it. I love it. You know what? Here she is. I have always, always, yeah, I have no always. Tushy anymore. You oh. lose your tushy when you when you're fighting a. a Listen, you know. your face is so beautiful. No one cares about the back. We love you. I love we you. We love you. Okay, you. Doesn't matter the packaging. We love you. Thank you so much, Taylor Dang. And by the way, you can find tickets for Taylor's All Love.